Hello and welcome to my new video. Uh, this time I want to talk a little bit more about how to run uh, Katia macros from Excel. So let's start. First you need to open uh, Excel and blank workbook. Then you need to enable this developer option. So go to file and then go to options. In options go to custom customize ribbon. And here uh, check this dev developer uh, checkbox. So hit OK. When you have this developer option, you hit here and then go to insert and insert new button. So I will insert new button here and the button uh, name will be uh, make new part. Make new part. And we will create new macro. So we will get this uh, window here and then we will find this uh, macro on my website. So go to my website and go to tutorials I think so and in tutorials I will close this up. Sorry. And in tutorials you will find uh, also you will find this Katia macro and Excel connection. This is also a uh, post connected with this topic so it's very imp important to read this post also you have also how to connect uh, Katia macro and Excel and some basic information and uh, basic code so I will go back and I want to find here um, a post about make new part Katia macro tutorial so you can read more about uh, here about this macro so you but I will not cover this now I will just uh, take the end result of this code so let's see so this is the code for making new part as you can see um, we have here uh, one input uh, box and we want to take uh, part uh, please enter part name and define profi profile uh, and we will uh, change this here so I will just click on this button here and take this code so just copy and go to our Excel here I will just paste this code here paste and before we uh, before this code we need to make a connection with Katia so I will just make uh, I will write one line for the connection I'm not sure but where's the button here so just a little comment so con with Katia and then we will write here and this line it's uh, same on all codes so set so in every macro you will need this uh, align to connect with Excel so Katia equals to get object and then comma and cut the application cut the application and then close this so we, we will need this line for every um, macro from Excel I will de delete these because they are making some problems I don't know why so I will just delete this and now we will change this uh, input box here so we want to take this name from Excel so we'll go back to Excel and here I will clean this little bit I will make uh, I will right click here and just um, then you can move this like this and I can make it better bigger uh, so now I will uh, write here macro name so you know which macro it is macro name and macro name will be uh, make new part so make new part okay I will make this a little bit bigger uh, so here also so a little bit bigger like this and then we will have here part name so we need to know what we need to enter in this text box here 
uh, so we'll for example cut here macro okay and we will make just simple table here so you go, go to home and here on the home uh, all borders and here also all borders and we'll just put some simple color on this also if you want to edit this text uh, you have here edit text and the text will be new text will be uh, um, new part for example new part okay and then uh, we will go back to our code but we need to so here as you can see it's 8 and here is 3 so we'll go back to our code and here we will put we'll delete this and put in the code we need to put uh, a worksheet work uh, sheets and the name for the worksheet in, in our case it's uh, sheet one so I will just go back and put here sheet one sheet one and we need also um, the cell so cells sorry here sorry I made a mistake here part document but uh, we will put here point and cells And we need to take value from the cell value and the value as, uh, as I said before it, it will be this value here so it's uh, 8 and 3 1 2 3 so 8 and 3 so I'll just go back and put here 8 and 3 so like this, so we will need, we will take that value from this cell, eight and three. This is the same, same, same. And then here, part document save as we need to change this uh, location. So I want to save this in this location here. So I will just copy and uh, change the location here. And then just delete uh, this. So like this. And now let me check it. Let's try to uh, to debug this code. So I have open just open empty Katia. So I will try to run this code from here. So just hit here run. Uh, yes, run. Let me check it. And as you can see here in the folder, I have Katia macro part, and in Katia I have new part. So now you can just go here, for example, and change this uh, Katia macro and put, for example, one and just hit this uh, button here and macro will make a new part and save it to the folder, as you can see. So also you can, um, this is just simple example, but you can make a much more with this macro. You can make uh, um, connect with more cells. I don't know, I can show you, for example, if you want, uh, for example, here, uh, just cut your macro, macro, and then you can also put, for example, here, I don't know, add, add, and here, if you go back to the code, you can put here worksheet sheet one, just copy this, and here go to plus, uh, plus here, this, and in this case, it will be four. Uh, so let's try to run this macro and as you can see here Katia macro add so you can uh, put more here of this so you can make uh, this part name for more of cells this is only example I will not I will delete this in the code I will don't need this so and now we have one macro uh, let's uh, make more macros now uh, second macro I want to show you is the macro for for the coloring so uh, macro name here macro ma sorry macro name 
macro name and macro name will be change color. Okay. Uh, you can't you can change the color of this button. So also you can go to insert and insert um, uh, this shape. So you can also insert like this. So I will insert two shapes, copy and paste. I will need two shapes for this macro. So this first macro will be um, this uh, black and this one is white. So like this, also I will fix this little bit and we don't need any parameters. So this ma these two macros will be for change the color. So for this one, I will just go to right click and assign macro and macro will be um, black, for example, black color. Okay. I don't see, maybe I made a mistake. So right click, assign macro again. Uh, no, black, just black color. Delete, black color, new. As you can see, we get here, we got here the code. And as I said, we need this connection with Katia. So we'll just copy this, copy and paste. We need for every macro. And we go back to my website. And on the website, we will go to I think so it's three macros. On the three macros we will find the macro uh, free color palette Katia macro. And here we have the code for change the color. So I will just copy uh, this code, copy and go back to Excel. And here just paste the, the code. Uh, this is this making some errors, so I will just go and copy this and put here. I will just delete this line. So here for the black color, I will put uh, 0, 0, 0. Okay. And if we go back to Katia, I will draw just simple uh, sketch, just one rectangle, go back and make some pad. Okay, okay, and I will move it like this. So if I select this uh, edge, for example, and hit to hit uh, to run this macro, we have problem. Uh, I see where is problem in this line. We don't need this my Katia, so just Katia, and then run. As you can see, this face is black now. So if I go to our Excel, I will make. I can select any of these faces and just uh, run this macro. As you can see, we can uh, change the color of this face. I will do the same for this uh, white uh, white uh, rectangle. So assign macro and this will be white color. White color new. No. And then I will just copy everything from here and just uh, change the color of the change the RGB. So just copy and paste this. And here it will be 40. Like this. And now we can test also this this macro. So if I go like this and just hit run, as you can see, it's white now. So if I go back to Excel again, as you can see, I can, for example, uh, uh, change the color of these two just a little bit as you can see it's white and now it's black white black and so on so uh, in this example you can uh, make this color palette same like this one you can make bigger and it's very easy now also i i want to show you one more macro uh, this one is for add bodies in the tree uh, so I will need new button and here macro name, macro name, it will be add bodies. And here we will insert um, one button like this and it will be add bodies. Add bodies new. 
so we make uh, we will make new macro and we will go back again to my website and we will find uh, it's on the tutorial so we'll find here mm, new body katya macro tutorial so i will go here and again i will not explain this code because uh, i already write this post so i will just take the end result here so it is this code here so i will just copy this so just copy this here sorry next copy and go back to excel and just paste here and again uh, we need to copy this connection with katia line okay so we will we will delete this and this this and this so delete all this line so here enter the number of bodies so how many body do we need so we'll also need change this like here in this example we will use excel for this so i'll just copy this line from here and enter the name of a number of the bodies so i go back to excel and i will change this little bit go to home and put like this this and number or i will put here a number of bodies number of bodies and body's name body name body name So number of, of bodies we will put uh, for example 10 and body name Katya Mahko. Okay, uh, we will change like this and this. So this is now, I'm not sure, 1, 2, 3. It's 10, so 8 and 10. So I go back here, 8 and 10. So the first value for then, um, sorry, uh, uh, first value for the number of bodies. So it will be, uh, in our case, uh, 10 bodies, as you can see here. And we will go here and put this copy and paste. So body, enter body name. Body name will be from this here and it will be 9 and 10. A 9 and 10 uh, uh, we also here is this error I'll just delete this and here this. okay so let's try to you need to have open uh, Katya part so I'll just go here and try to run it let's see does we have any errors as you can see here it's uh, 10 mark 10 bodies with the Katya macro so now you can just go back here in the Excel and change this. For example, just Katia and put here five. And just hit this uh, run button and you will get these five bodies. Oh, for example, now make a new part. I don't know, just put seven, eight and just hit new button, new part. As you can see, yeah, you can run this as many times as you want here also now you can make your parts and this is an exa example how can you use excel to store more of your macros and also how to use uh, excel cells to help you to store information and so on i hope so that you like this video please uh, like and subscribe